SCP-154 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-154 is to be kept within Weapon Locker 8 in Armed Research Site 47. Personnel wishing to research or use item must submit the required request forms. Anyone attempting to remove the item without clearance or from outside of the facility is to be terminated on site. Description SCP-154 is a pair of simple bronze bracelets, completely circular and large enough to comfortably hang off the arm of most people. Spectrograph analysis has proven that the item is composed entirely of copper, tin, arsenic, and traces of other slight impurities. When both bracelets are worn on the same arm, and the wearer concentrates on them with arms extended in a depiction of a traditional knocked bowstring pose, achieved by having the arm with the bracelets completely extended in front of oneself with the opposing arm extended up to the elbow of the fully extended arm, a large, indistinct, incorporeal bow will form in the extended hand, and both bracelets will glow lightly. From that point onwards, SCP-154 can be treated as a bow until the pose or concentration is broken, which results in the bracelets reverting to normal. There is no actual bowstring, but completing the motion of pulling it achieves the same effect. When the bowstring is pulled and released, the bones of the arm will be forcibly ejected from the extended limb, traveling in a straight path at speeds recorded of over 300 meters per second. The missing bones and resulting damage to the arm are quickly regenerated, and the weapon is capable of being fired again within minutes. The regeneration implemented by the item is limited, only affecting the damage inflicted by the weapon itself. This regeneration seems to be an automatic action, and will continue in almost all situations. Both firing the weapon and the resulting regeneration are understandably painful, and participants which have used the item once are generally disinclined to repeat usage. However, there have been found to be some occasional abnormalities regarding the regeneration. Most often, this manifests simply as minor mutations of the original subject, such as changes in size, pigmentation, and structure of the original organelles. These are an uncommon occurrence, capable of happening during any use of the weapon, though generally tend to occur during repeat usage. There are more drastic abnormalities, though these are much rarer, and coincide with highly frequent use. These mutations can range from anything such as the growth of extra joints and digits in the affected arm, to a complete change of the chemical or physical structure of the limb. One test subject unknowingly had the bone matter within his arm converted into an unstable explosive compound, only discovering the fact when it detonated, causing two fatalities and three casualties. Another had the entire bone and musculature structure morphed into fully functional serpentine physiology, 